Good evening everybody, welcome back to Contest of Speed. We're here for EU4's third uh, post-season race and they've chosen to come back in the F2 cars. We're at Paul Ricard and it's now time for the manic start of the session that is one-shot qualifying. It's like listening to the final furlong of a horse race. We're going to go on board with uh, Matrix, the man from EU2, currently at the back of the pack though. Slow through turns one and two. Kmart leads the way. Matt in second place, spot third. Long way still to go though. We come through the first sector. Right on board. First split coming up. As we cross it there. And it's Charlie now in the lead. Matrix have to lift off there through turn seven. It's uh, still in Titchy and Blaze bringing up the rear right now down the long straight towards the chicane. I wish they'd let you go straight through. It'd be great. Seen these F2 cars more of a challenge. Matrix in the high tech tonight. Very grateful to stepping in last minute. 15 drivers out of the usual 20. Fair few reserves. We'll go through them once the feature race gets underway and we find a little bit of that. Well, one of those phases where it's a little bit dull. Um, We've got three drivers battling out for the lead. There's a reason I'm not saying the names. Don't want to give a certain somebody any hints. Steve doing a good job there in the Premier in P5. Charlie P4. Again, the two Carling cars right down the back of the pack. Joseph then retires. Matrix through the final corner, currently in P8. Drives for the line. There we go, and that's why I didn't want to say anything, because sat in the commentary box with me, who's going to come and take... Whilst driving... Matt's here. Hello. Hi. Wow, that was, um... Yeah. Woo. Fun times for you. Yeah, interesting. Mm. Good. I love call I love commentating on one-shot qualifying, especially when people are moving up and down the order all the time, because it's great. It's manic for about 90 seconds. So... Matt, you're on pole. How does that feel? We can do an interview while we're waiting. Yeah, we can. Um, yeah, all right. Not too bad, um, Where is... Oh, did Andrew get disqualified? He was one of the ones I thought would be uh, near the front. Hmm. He's a TT time. Um, and yeah. It depends who's got setups or not. That's the, uh, the real thing. Yeah. I, I think it's going to be a lot closer in the race. I think people just like the more laps people do. Mm, no, I'd agree with you. Last week with EU three. three. Mm -hmm. Well, we saw it first time round with these guys as well. There were yeah. people coming up late in the race that you wouldn't expect. Yeah, the better. Mm. So formats changed slightly from when last we did this with EU four. We're not doing a full feature race and nothing else. Uh, as you can tell, back then it was a full qualifying session as well. Uh, we're going to do two 50%s, so a 50% feature race, and then a 50% sprint race. So what that means for anybody who's not familiar with the F2, although I imagine that most of you will be, is that the grid that's just qualified is the starting order for the feature race. They will go for however many laps, probably about 16, 17 laps around here. Maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. Uh, then the top eight will be reversed um, and the starting grid will be the finishing order f of this race. 15 laps, one soft, soft, hard. No yes. mediums. Is it, is it soft, medium? It is a soft, hard. Ah. Sorry, I've got brain freeze. Oh. I, t <laughs> I said before we started, I said, I'm going to get an ice cream because I'm, I'm well professional. Oh, so you're going to get it down here. Give yourself some brain freeze. And, yeah. I've finished it. It's going to have to melt. There it is. Okay, then. So, tyre choices then for everybody. We won't have the lap data on. We don't need that. Uh, tyre information then. Everybody is on the soft tyres except for Blades in 11th and Titchy in 14th. They've decided to start on the harder tyre. Um, and is lap 5 or 6. Okay, which, yeah, yeah, probably makes sense, about a third race distance then, then onto the harder compound. So with that we would expect the two guys running on the hard tyres to go to maybe around lap 
10. Uh, yeah, lap 9 on lap, yeah, lap 10 on their tyres. Um, we'll see how we go. Of course, slight difference between uh, our F2 and the real F2. If a safety car comes out, you can pit uh, on the game because that rule seemingly hasn't been put in for the 50% distances. It might have been for the full F2 distances, but not for the 50s. Um, I know some guys were caught out by that last time. And in uh, E3 as well, they were caught out by that. So, UNI, ART, UNI, oh, is it Virtuosi, ART, Virtuosi, and Dams. Carly? Uh, Dams. With Charlie, yeah. yeah. I think Charlie's got yeah. two tips. Yep, then Steve in the Primer, Sonny in the HWA, Raceway JJ in the Campos, Matrix is in the High Tech, Barter in the Primer, um, Leo in the. I can't remember the name of the team, MP Motorsport, there we go, Blades in the other ART, K Mark, I believe, is in the other uh, HWA, Dylan in the Dams and then Titchy and Joseph at the back of the pack in the car lens. Titchy, of course, reigniting his fanboy nature for Yuki Sonoda. Circuit so Paul Ricard then plays host tonight. Hopefully we'll get a bit more action here than we do with the F1 cars, because normally it's quite dull, but uh, I have faith. So let's get ready then. It's all right, we wait now, we watch the revs build. And we're off here in Le Castellet. It's a good start at the front of the pack for everybody. Although, Matt, looks like you're going to get swamped there. Yeah, it was four wide up. into turn one. Oh, no! no! We've got a spinner at the front. Sorry. We've got a lot of spinners. Three cars there. Down the order. Four into one, apparently. Uh, yep, does not it's go particularly well. Joseph Matt K Mark down at the back of the pack. Leo and Blades already with a penalty. Uh, one for corner cutting. I don't know what Blades was for. Spud, though, leads the way. We head towards the straight for the first time. Charlie back end stepping out there. It's a bit of wing damage, you Yeah, I've got nothing for that at the moment. Blades, though, the big winner, although I imagine that penalty is going to be for corner cutting. So we can have a look. If we look at penalties, yep, five seconds. That's going to be for corner cutting. He's up six places. Three wide. Two primers in together in ninth and tenth place. We saw Joseph there pick up a big penalty for corner cutting. And we've got. Is that Titchy going well wide? I think it was. Yep. So Titchy with no. Yeah, so we're going to see some early stops. Have a look at that tyre life. The big loser then is going to be Titchy on those hard tyres. He's going to have to go to the softs. And potentially compromise his strategy in the sprint race later on. Jeff's trying to put me back onto a two stop, which isn't, uh, isn't great. No. Um. I don't know how the hard tyres will do, to be honest. I don't know if they'll make it to the end for you, but I would, I would hope so. Uh, Titch has carried on while his teammate is in for a nose change. Of course, F2 pit stops are slower, so unsurprising that that's been the case. Of course, in F1, where a wing change would normally take around seven seconds, in F2 it's considerably longer. So, Sonny then looking at the back of Charlie as we go down the straight. No DRS yet, of course. We've still got another lap to go. 
on the brakes. Charlie's going to hold it and round the outside of there, which becomes the inside. He's always giving him too much room on the exit, and the wheel spins cost him. A bit of lag there as well from the dam's car. Still side by side though. So he's not going to tuck in behind and wait for DRS to try and make that move more cleanly. Alright, Raceway JJ then. P4 at the moment. And doing a good job hanging on to the back of these two battling for second place. Spot is pacing out the front. Two seconds clear now. He likes the F2 cars, this He does. I agree with him, I like the F2 cars. Much more about the driver than about the actual mechanics of the car. Sonny though, all over the back of Charlie, who is lagging all over the, all over the road. We'll stay on board with uh, with Raceway JJ. As I think we might see a move here from Sonny, although the back end of that HWA did not want to stick, which might leave him vulnerable to an attack from the Campos. A bit of contact there from the front wing and. was a mistake there from Sonny and he's dropped behind the Campos. So I was just looking at my phone to try and get some comments up. I missed that, but you'll have all seen it hopefully. It's K-Mark and Titchy then now together. And K-Mark on those softer tyres for the now anyway. Continues on. Titchy I think has managed to keep himself... I think he's in a really good position at the moment. He's doing alright, he's in P11 with those tyres. Um, because of the, uh, the gaggle of cars that are in front of the Yeah, Blades has stopped, I believe. Which, Blades has made two stops. Um, so he's cycled tyres, which I'm not sure about. Although he's made his one mandatory stop, so he can pit under the safety car now without any risk. Even if there was such a thing. at the front though we've got a group of four cars now battling for third that mistake from Sonny's Matrix opportunistic move down the inside of the HWA some great action here early on we're going to see a move back from Sonny here straight up the inside of us Shane has to short shift the gear to keep the back end in check of his virtuosi car oh, I've got so much fuel in this car uh, is it heavy? it's very heavy it's on like 3.4 so. oh now Steve coming up to join the back of this uh, battle for third as well. These guys are holding each other up like massively. They are, yeah. Complete front wing damage, but I'm still... Uh, and Shane is boxing, he's going for the undercut. Could be a brilliant move for Shane, boxing at the end of lap four. Slightly early, we'll see how that goes. Um, and he is your teammate, Matt, so. Great. Probably not the best plan to, well. to stop there, but you know, it, it could work for you. Could work for you still. Oh, look at the busy bozzies. They've got to go in the garage and then back out again. <laughs> mm. uh, okay, then, so the leading two are well away. 
Raceway is now in P3. Three and a half seconds back though. From the man he's chasing. And he's got a certain flying fin behind him who will want to get this movement made and secure as soon as possible. Oh, that was a horrible bit, son. Well, you're yeah, out, though. Don't do that again. 56 seconds it's taken. Oh! Matrix there with the fastest middle sector so far. Oh, and he's going to try it down the inside. Is he going to make that stick? It's now the outside. Of turn 12, which becomes the inside of 13. And the high tech is through into third place. But with a rather large gap to bridge now to second place. As we see all of the leaders stop. Matrix then the one driver who has stayed out along with Steve. And this is where we want to see where Shane is on track. Still a fair way off, so not quite got those tyres up to temperature yet. And some of those cars are about to come out of the pit lane. Granted, it's the leaders. This could be quite close. Just slowly getting into the 80s, so Shane should be okay. Well, he should be. He's not jumped anybody. He might just get Sonny on the pit exit here. On the inside, warmer tyres might pay dividends here. Sonny's going to hold on. Not quite, though. Shane will take that position off him. So, Raceway JJ is his next target. These cars much less downforce than the F1 cars, so following behind is going to be tricky. Particularly when you're heading towards a heavy braking zone. So let's see, can Sonny retake that position? DRS is open, he's having a look. But he's not close enough, and I think now this is where Shane needs to put the hammer down, pull away. Or at least get into DRS of that Campos ahead of him. Uh, Steve Pitts from second place. There we are, Matrix having been unleashed now. Sets the fastest lap of the race. And has carried on again on his soft tyres. Be interesting to see where Steve comes out here in the battle with Shane and Sonny, who are just on the start finish straight now. Raceway JJ will come through and will take it. Will Steve get the jump on one or both of them? He gets it on Sonny. The overcut worked for Steve. So at the moment then, overcut seems to be the way forward. Hard tyres proving difficult to get up to temperature. As we say that, that goes in with the fastest lap of the race. We've got a spinner at turn two. I think, yep, it's came up. And that looks like cold tyres to me. Okay, so Matrix then out in front. 17, nearly 18 seconds clear of Titchy in second. The only two cars now yet to stop. And Matrix incidentally is going again. Um, which, if Titchy's paying attention, will now give him cause to realise that he could box now for soft tyres. 
at the end of the next lap and make it through to the end of the race. Just depends where he wants to pull the trigger and come into for, for his uh, mandatory stop. So, sort of had the worst of both scenarios, really. Sit sheet, and then another eight. And, uh, yep, yeah, I've been kicked out of the session. He'd love to see it. I interrupt your race for an invite, please. Yes, hang on. I'm, I'm not going to do it. It's a re. <laughs> Just going through his steps of three. Kind of a little bit difficult. No, it's fine. Titchy meanwhile is in the pits by the way. Yep, so Titch out the Matrix in the box and just wait for some nice man to throw me an invite back. And can you let's get back in here. So Titchy's got about eight seconds behind Delandra on those uh, brand new softs, so I think we'll be... Titchy's going to be on well. the charge. Stop at the end of the lap. Eight, so he's got to do seven laps on them. So oh, Matrix there. went eight laps from the start on his softs, so it's doable. <clears throat> and we're still pulling away at the end as well, so it's, uh, it's doable. Right, so there we go, we're back in. Yeah, I can imagine. A lot of right hand turns. Loading up that front left. Twenty eight percent already. Can I Yeah. Um, can I just get confirmation from anybody in the chat that the stream is now working again? Excellent. Excellent. I will keep an eye on it. I'd, I'd rather you kept both on the track, mate, if I'm honest. Ah, uh, they're both right, it's fine. <laughs> Sonny then, right on the back of Shane. Tyres a lap younger and now up to temperature. Thank you, Raggy. It is working. Good, good stuff. Good one. Change of second place though, Charlie challenging spot into turn eight. And he's taken it. Matrix was able to pit and come out still in front. Uh, but we'll see how he's liking those harder tyres and how fast he can get them up to temperature. I'll wait for Foss to to get obliterated possibly. And we've got a yellow that's in the pit lane for Blades. And he will be starting the sprint race at the back of the pack then. Yeah, yes. And Sonny's got ahead of Shane as well. I feel really sorry for Spot here because Charlie is lagging it everywhere. Eleven. 
Shane managed to get back ahead of something there at the start, finished straight through turns one and two. The uh, HWA tucking in behind. And we'll see, he should be able to get back through now with DRS assistance. As I would imagine, should Spud, but let's jump to that quickly. Spud to the inside, makes that move. And Sonny, no, not quite. And then Charlie gets spot back on the exit. Oh, no. oh dear. Someone's got a penalty. Great battle here for second place between Spud and Charlie. Spud going for the switch back underneath there. Gets his elbows out, we like to see, and Charlie has to settle there for third, at least for the time being. Spot, of course, the winner from our first F2 race in Belgium a couple of weeks ago. Oh, but the back end there, snaking, he's too eager on the throttle. I would have thought in these full Maybe traction. In it's not that bad, hard enough. no, um, so they, they seem to be quite forgiving with no traction on. Uh, it seems to be very much an, almost a, a digital loss of traction, where one minute you have it and the next it's just gone. Compared to the last year ones, they were these seem a little bit more easier to handle. Spot then goes through. Just to make sure that he doesn't lose the back end on the throttle, which he has done again. But he's ahead coming into turn 10. That's what matters most. And now towards turn 11. He's going to have to hug that inside line and hope that Charlie doesn't try and sneak back underneath just like that. And retakes P2. Spud then. He's got a fight on his hands. As we enter lap 13 then. Three to go. Spud Charlie. Exchanging paint through the final corner, and that battle for fourth is closing in behind them. Shane and Sonny coming up the track. Uh, Titchy's not made the inroads I thought he might have done on those tyres, I have to say. He's uh, six and a half seconds off Steve in eighth at the moment. Charlie and Spod still at each other's throats. No, 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 no to Andrew. No, no. Uh, that's K Mark out of the race as well now. Looks like there's some uh, impressive battles going on. There's a, there's a few, there's a few nice ones actually, yeah. Which is what I thought when, cause for anyone who doesn't know, we've been putting the tracks for the EU guys to to vote on, as well as the format of the weekend, if you like, of the race itself. Um, it's one of the reasons I put France on here, because the, the F2 guys around France normally give a quite a good show. We have a yellow line. We do, that's the dams of Dill, Andrew, Rambard and Charlie side by side again. And Spod's held it this time. Seems to be the more common outcome at this point. Matrix has pulled away at the front. 4.2 second gap. So at the moment then, not counting for penalties, Dylan is on sprint race pole. But it could all change. So we have two to go. Yeah. That's commentator's curse if I've ever given it before. <laughs> uh, through goes Titchy then. 
And Charlie Twice. has... Charlie and Spod are going at it again. Elbows out out of turn two. Spod's got second at the moment. Trying everything there. The man in the dam's car to get through. But that has now brought Shane and Sonny right into the fight and Raceway is not far away either. Could be a crescendo of a finish because Raceway JJ doesn't have any penalties at the moment. But Charlie, Shane and Sonny do. And Charlie's just picked up another one so he'll definitely fall behind the, uh, the Campos. Right now, Spod and JJ have to keep it clean, and they're both heading for a podium. Matrix is nearly five seconds clear now at the front of the pack. Charlie, though, on the inside of Spod through turn 11. Oh, me to Andrew, just on the same thing. <laughs> uh, Too hungry on the throttle? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Coming out of the chicane there. Oh, yeah, just got on the curve, the curve just yeah. Somehow, no damage. These things are like indestructible. Well, we've all seen an F2 race, they're mental. I'm not surprised. Oh, Matrix! There's only and he set it with one to go as well, so we can't have anybody boxing to take it off him. No, oh, Spod with the three seconds there! That could cost him dearly, but I think he'll be okay. Let's have a look at the penalty situation. Charlie has 17 seconds of penalties. In, se in second place. Uh, the current most is Joseph in 11th place. He's got 27. That's nearly two seconds a lap he's averaging at the moment. Dunn has retired in the pits, which is silly because now he's going to lose out on his position in the sprint race. And uh, Charlie and Spud have come together. Spud's in the wall. And again, no damage because, as you said, these cars are indestructible. Uh, elbows were out there from both of them. I think that's fair enough as a racing incident. Not that we're particularly keeping track of such things at the moment. And Leo's been disqualified for not stopping for both tyre compounds. You pillock. You get told by Jeff to stop for ads. So... Matrix then crosses the line in first, and I think we're going to see Raceway JJ jump up to third place. Shane in second, Sonny third, uh, Sonny fourth, and Charlie fifth. Spud uh, jumps to fifth as Charlie drops down behind Steve. Titchy doesn't quite get it, but will have sprint race pole. And then you, dear friend. I don't think we're going to cross the step out. No. Oh, nope. Too much time on the last. Yep. No. Yeah. Um, let's have a look. Fastest lap. Matrix. It, yeah, you were. Uh, right, no, not even. You were uh, 59 thousandths. Yeah, you did a lap, the lap before. Mm. Well played, Matrix. Well played. Yep, 59 thousandths of a second off him. Joseph and Varda then still to cross the line. Varda's now gone. Just the one remaining carling. Through the final corner then and powers for the line. Sprint race coming up next. Titchy on pole, Charlie second, Steve third, Spud will be fourth, 
Something in fifth. JJ in sixth. Shane in seventh. And Matrix will start P8. I'll tell you what, there's going to be a few guys out there that are going to go for revenge. Hmm. As long as it's good racing, it's all the more fun for us all to enjoy. Feature race is the one they all want, of course. But the sprint race will do just fine as well. There we have it then, the Drivers' Championship at the moment. Well, I say the Drivers' Championship, the results at the moment. Points. Matrix leads. Uh, with Shane second. Uh, you are in eighth place. Ninth. Nope, eighth. Four points for fastest slap in qualifying, don't forget. Uh, and you drop behind Charlie because of the position you finished the feature race in. Of course, we've got more points to call for. Mm. I'm like Mr. Saturday. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't going to bring that up, but... That's fine. I mean, if you want me to, I can. It's, an in, it's a very inside joke, but that's fine. Yeah, for anybody who doesn't know, Matt looks exactly like George Russell. Um, he can't see it personally um, I mean he's wrong but he can't see it Woo! Sprint race! Yeah! How many laps uh, is the sprint race? Is it 11? It is 11 laps mm -hmm. and we are on the hard tyres ladies and gentlemen I'm sorry to disappoint everyone mm, No, it won't be a disappointment the thing is we might see someone go for the the old Leclerc strategy uh, mm -hmm. 24 seconds difference. What, in, in the pit from making a stop to soft? Yeah. yeah. Well, if we get a safety car, you never know. Uh, formation lap then, we're away. Let's see if anybody has gone for the soft tyre. No, they have not. So, what are you going to try and get out of the sprint race, Matt? From race pace, I have plenty of pace, so... Top four, if I can avoid turn one shenanigans again, that'd be lovely. Okay. Because every F2 race I've done so far, I've uh, been involved in something like that. You've knackered it at T1. Well, or on the first lap, yeah. Sometimes my fault was... Well, a few times it was my fault, I can redo it. But that, yeah, four into one is the turn one, which, uh, not pretty, to put it mildly. Yes. I feel like I compose myself very well, considering I'm supposed to be on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you, pre you, you prepped well enough. There was, a, there was a time not long ago where we thought we both might be racing and there'd be some unknown presence in the, in the box bringing this to you all live, but... Uh, well, I wanted Mitch to appear. Um, Which would have been amazing. It would have been brilliant, but he, he said and no. Also convenient. Yes, last time very. I believe you can it was France. Yes. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, you've got a podium. Uh, you three, I'm not sure it might have been. Um, but anyway, it was a good race, that one. Always has been. Everyone hates it, but it's always been. It's always a good race. A fairly good race. Mm. But it's just a league race. Yeah, it's a good track. It's just a shame they put that nonsense blue and red 
tape everywhere. If they just left it with a gravel trap or even some grass and or even done what Bahrain did and like colour it all in. As the tarmac runoff area being better than those stupid little strips. We are waiting. Yes. Revs are up and we're off. Titchy gets a good start, it seems. A nice puff of smoke, but he's away. Oh, Joyce has got an absolute flyer. Am I going to get hit this time? Yes. Uh, we've, got a, we've got a dams car going off the track. He's going to get a penalty. Oh. That was Charlie there cutting it right Oi. across. I don't know. I presume yes. I'm not Shane. That was very good. Oh, yeah. Shane, you may need some new underwear. I, I would definitely be as well after that one. Why are we all so slow? Come on. 3.8 seconds. Brilliant. Love life. Yeah, the lobby's not loving everybody at the minute because it's got Spud. Oh, Spud is in second place. Great start from him. I've got five seconds for not hitting him. <sighs> That's fine. Don't worry about oh, it. Oh, someone's just running to the back of someone at the back there. That was weird. Yeah, that's Blades driven in at the back of K-Mark. Can't wait to see that spat later in the chat. It'll be brilliant. Yes. Titchy then in the lead, spot in second place, right on his oh. tail. I don't know where Charlie is, I think he's off. Um, yes he is. And he's retired. As well, I believe that's gone into the wall. No safety car though. Spot has overtaken Titchy though on the restart. I missed that. I was looking down at the bottom corner to see where he'd retired. Spot takes the lead. I couldn't overtake Matrix because it was yellow. No. Four cars in the pit lane. And that's both Dam's cars out. Sonny challenging Titch now for second place. Have a great toe down the straight. Is he going to be able to sling one up the inside into turn eight? Titch will be able to hold the in the outside line even, which is the line you want to take defensively. It's very tempting to go to the inside and stop someone cutting in, but oh, send it. you compromise yourself further around the corner. Oh look, you're in fifth. Oh Matrix, that was very close to Joseph. There's contact between Where's the two of them. Again with Who's going to hold it? Inside or outside? Oh, we've got a spinner and a full car. safety car. Now who's going to be brave here, if anybody? Oh, they used though, they're not going to be any good. Matrix has gone for it. Matrix has gone for it. Matrix, yeah, of course he would. Just the, the U, so I don't know what they're going to be. Are they going to be... Oh, what, the, the quali set, or the... Yeah. Mm, you get two sets of them, but... We'll see now. It'll pop up on the uh, left-hand side of the screen. Matrix there having to wait for a time penalty to be served. Soft tyres going on, and they appear to be a fresh set for the fin. Tried on board, we can tell for sure, one way or another. 
as he comes out of the pits. Uh, it looked like they've had a heat cycle put through them, so I'd imagine that the qualifying tyre. Either that, or they are his spare set of softs, which I think is a thing. I think they get two sets of each, don't they, for for the weekend? You know what? I'm very tempted to find out and get rid of my five uh, Vida and Blades are both in. Uh, Blades has gone for the soft tyre. His are also appearing to be fresh, and Vada has gone back to hards. But we know how long the safety top car took on Tuesday. Uh, from where you are right now, you would come out probably behind Matrix, but in front of Vada, so P10. Um, That's uh, well, we'll have to wait and see. We might have an influx of cars boxing now, so... Uh, the problem you're going to have is you've got to do at least eight laps on them. It's doable. We saw Matrix do it in this feature race. Um, you have to look after them, though, under the safety car. Let's find out, shall we? Yes! Good man. That's what we'd like to see. Some drama. Uh, anybody else going to follow you in? I don't think so. Yep, so Matrix goes through. And Vada is just coming through turn 12 now, so he's a fair way off. Oh, they are the quality set. Oh, excellent. So they have got about 5% Okay, good stuff I'll just coax these, just coax these babies around Okay, so Vada and Blades just coming through the final corner now so they should catch up to the field by the end of this lap so I would hope we'll be able to go racing again as we start lap 5 which will mean 6 racing laps for those tyres Seven laps, even. My bad. So, Joseph, then, at the moment, the only man with a time penalty. That's five seconds. Everybody who started on the hards is still on them. Varda has pitted twice and is back on his starting set of hard tyres but they are a lap fresher than everybody else's and of course Matrix, Matt and Blades on the soft tyre let's see if they can carve their way through the field as this race progresses they are, they're going to be horrible the last three laps I think Safety car's not coming in yet. Stay out, stay out, stay out, stay out, stay out, stay out. Yes. Uh, yep, you're going to have one more lap of it. So it will be six racing laps on those soft tyres. Of course, the longer this safety car stays out, the more it helps. Oh, those three drivers. Got another person coming in. Steve, gone for it. Now he will be at the back of the pack, however, his tyres will be fresher than everybody else's. So that could work out in his favour. I'll have to wait and see. Could be a very shrewd move there from Steve. We'll wait and see. So it's still spot in the ART leading the way, Titchy in second place. Raceway JJ in third, Sonny in fourth, Joseph in fifth with a five second time penalty, uh, Shane in sixth place, Leo in seventh, Matrix the first man to stop in eighth, Matt in ninth, again having stopped, Varda in tenth, the only man to have stopped and stayed on the hard compound of tyre, 
Blades in 11th, Steve in 12th, Rasai Rays are Kmart, Dylan and Charlie. So these tires will just about make the end, but they're going to be in the high 60s, I think. Mm. Put the energy in them, but as you said earlier, Matrix, Matrix's pace is still okay, and that's, well, compared to last week, it's two steps in between the tires. Yes. One. So that's probably what would save soft people from suffering. You're hoping for such a thing. I'm uh, hoping for such a thing, but you know. Mm -hmm. Safety car is in this lap. Spot then will. Now we've entered sector three. Take control of keeping pace for the whole pack. I'm going to be intrigued to see when he goes. So am I. He's got to wait for the safety car to enter the pit lane, of course. It's going to be one of two choices. It's going to be into the final corner. Or He's out of it. So go just before the pit entry on. But I don't think he will because there's still not much of a gap between him He's and not safety. really going that slowly. Um, safety car has to be well in the pit lane, of course. It can't just wait until it's peeled off the track. Okay, he can go when he's ready. He's waiting. Is he going to go out of the final corner? Yes, he is. He's done a good job there. Titch, he's come up and been caught napping. And we are green again. How are your tyres, lads? What are the temperatures like? Uh, yeah, that's uh, Leo's Matrix. round. Uh, yeah, Matrix. Matrix Still in. a bit of an interesting rejoin, if I'm being honest. Mm. Okay, so that's one position for you two already on your softer tyres. Of course, we've got to wait another two laps for DRS. So we'll have DRS until lap eight. So all the movement of the pack will have to be made, probably without it. I just love the sound of the F2 cars. Proper engines, naturally aspirated. Not that I dislike the turbos, but... So these cars rev higher, they're louder. And they still have gearboxes you feel like you can use with a hammer. Oh, 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 Shane, big swerve back onto the circuit there. Soft tyres helping you there. Well, get him alongside Joseph on the end, exit of the final corner. Come on! I need more speed! Still there, still there, still there. Matrix looks like he's going to follow you through. Backs out of it though. So a little off tap as well. Mm. Spot has pieced out at the front of the pack. Titchy now the cork in the bottle in that Carlin. Got five laps to go, including this one. Matrix much better run off that corner onto the straight. Gets himself alongside Joseph, but he's not going to be able to make the move. Unless he's later on the brakes, he's going to try it. And Joseph cuts the nose, that's Matrix round. an unfair penalty for his trouble. Mm, what I've seen, Joseph just needs to work on. It's just defensive. He's doing the old uh, Verstappen. Hold the line even though there's someone next to you. So then, we join the battle for second. 
with the leading man on the soft tyres. That's you, Matt. It's not as easy as an. You're going to have DRS soon, so. Forty-four seven for Spud. That's his fastest lap. As DRS is enabled. Blades is making up ground as well on his soft tyres. Oh, teach or so slow through there. Okay then, Matt up into third place. DRS will be enabled. Let's ride on board. Let's stay on board. It sounds good and it's going to look good as well. Titch goes defensive to the middle of the track. So, oh, Raceway JJ coming through as well, but goes very deep. Right, it's in your spot. I'm on the charge. So you've got three and a bit laps to close up five and a half seconds. I would leave you to it, but I'm commentating. No, I'm going to go stick with it. the battle for third then. JJ down the inside of Titch into turn 11, but Titch says no and tries to hold it around the outside. It's not going to be enough though. Sonny coming through around the outside of uh, of 12. He can't hold that either. That brings Shane into the mix. Blades joining now as well on those soft tyres. He's still in there. JJ's managed to get ahead of Titch somehow. Sonny now trying it, but Titch is making that car in the widest car possible. Got a battle behind us there as well for P6. Blades and Shane side by side. Shane blocked off there inadvertently by Sonny's car, which allows Blades to go for the up and under. It's a great drive off the corner, and we've got the Carlin of Joseph there as a spinner at turn two. Blades having a poor run through three and four. This is going to be good. Seven tenths you've closed up already, mate. As much Matrix, as I want to be, way, I want to be impartial. Matrix, but. Matrix with the fast lap, by the way, so that's something to account for. Yeah, yeah let's, uh, let's have a look then. Fastest lap, you can say. 43.6 for Matrix. He is a second a lap quicker than anybody else at the moment. Sonny, great driver, still can't quite find his way past that car, Lynn. He's going to try it, though, on the inside of turn nine. And he's got it done. He has. He's got it done. Titch dropping down the order. Steve is now in the mix as well for this battle for what would be fourth place now. Because Raceway JJ has managed to put some distance between himself and the throng of cars. Blades and Shane side by side, both with DRS. Blades gives the position though there. Right in through turns three and four. Matrix isn't far away either, he could still get in on this. This is where I need like the whole fuel thing, two or four laps of fuel over still. Well, that's massive, that's massive. Did yeah. you start with that well, much so over? You start with like three and a bit over, but obviously you had the safety car as well, so. Mm. 
spot though, well out in front, four seconds. And that seems to be holding at the moment. I'm second, your tyres are going off, are they? There's nothing left of them. Steve and Blade still trying to find a way through this gaggle of cars, trying to get themselves up towards the podium places. Not got long to do it though, just one lap left. Blades could do it here if he gets the traction right. Oh dear, I've just seen my tires go left, front left, this could be interesting. Even puncture territory. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's fine, you weren't in last lap then, go on. Happened to Roland last week. Hey, it's, that's Roland. He'd be fine. You are still closing on spot, by the way. He's uh, he's made a little mistake. You've closed up a fair chunk there. Marcus Armstrong's ART car. He's got one sector to go. <laughs> that spot doesn't feel pressure. Anyone who can name themselves after a potato does not feel pressure. Fastest lap then is still currently held by Matrix. Here we go then, two corners left for spot to manage through the final bend powers for the line to take victory in the F2 race sprint race I should say at Paul Ricard that comes home in second 87% that front left. that's fine uh, Sonny in third Titch in fourth Raceway in 5th, Shane 6th, Steve 7th, Matrix manages to get back to 8th, what could have been if he'd uh, not had that incident with Joseph after the restart, Blades in ninth. Joseph will come home in 10th, Varda and then Leo to round off the pack. Final corner then, and the race, and indeed the stream, is coming to a close. Thank you all very much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed the show. If you have, make sure to tune in for the rest of the week. Both uh, EU and AM tiers will be driving at some point. Keep an eye out, and they'll be there for your viewing pleasure. Uh, make sure you check out all the social medias as well. Hit the follow button, hit the like button, share things, spread the word. You better spread the love, spread the word of cots. Oh, yeah. I might get myself ordained and then I can make myself a bishop of cots, I don't know. Things to plan over the summer. Uh, make sure you go and check out our partners at Team Brit as well. Those guys do a phenomenal job helping disabled racing drivers get into the world of motorsport and all the love you can send them is very much appreciated. We'll see you next week, hopefully, for something else. Who knows? It's up to well, these I'll guys. See. Well, You'll be on track tomorrow. So. Uh, yes, I'll be on track tomorrow, so make sure you tune in then to watch me make a fool of myself at uh, Austria. That should be pretty good. Mm. Uh, Matrix takes the win then in our little mini series. Uh, with Spod in second place, Shane in third. Uh, you got sick, Matt. Woo! Um, just trying to think about constructors. You and I, virtuosi, surely. 
Uh, you've got 40 points. High tech only hard matrix, so they've got 30. ART only got 25. Uh, yeah, you and I yeah, virtually take Woo. the key constructors for that. So, all that's left then is to say thank you all very much for watching. We'll see you all again next week. We hope you enjoyed the show. Good night.